Hi, hi, welcome to Kodaivo. Uh, this is day 27 of 100 days of code and the question for today is called Boolean matrix. So let me just read the question first. We'll then move on to the approach and try to code this. So given a Boolean matrix of size R cross C where each cell contains either 0 or 1. Modify it in such a way that if a matrix cell matrix of ij is 1 then all cells in its row and its column will be 1. Okay, so the logic is quite simple. Let me just plug this uh, digitizer in. I forgot to do it. One minute, please. Okay, fine. So you are given a matrix right and obviously it is a boolean matrix meaning that the elements that are present in this matrix are either 0 or 1 okay and uh, the dimensions are r cross c so you are supposed to find if there are ones present in this matrix and you are supposed to make all the uh, values in its row and its column as one if there is a present uh, one present in i comma j uh, the row i and the column j every uh, single element in that row and column should have one so that is the requirement okay so in this case in this example you have a two cross two matrix and the value one is present in zero comma zero okay so the i value zero and the j value zero so you are supposed to make all the elements that are present in zeroth row and all the elements that are present in zeroth column as one okay so the resultant matrix would be one 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 zero okay so this would be the uh, resultant matrix so this is the uh, expected outcome okay so how exactly are we going to do this so uh, once you receive the value of r and c you are going to create two lists okay two arrays of size r and r of size c okay we'll just name one as row another one as column and what you're going to do is that you're going to traverse through this matrix and make note of the rows and columns where uh, the value is 1 okay so we are going to iterate through this matrix and in i comma j that is where uh, 0 comma 0 you have uh, found that the value that is present in this matrix in 0 comma 0 is 1 right so what you will do is that you will make the value uh, in the list 0 as 1 okay so what i'm trying to do is that we are trying to make note of the rows and columns for which we are going to make it as completely 1 okay so the size of this uh, row list would be the size of the number of rows that are present in this matrix and the size of the column list would be uh, the number of columns present in that matrix okay so once you have created this list you are going to traverse through this matrix and if you have found a 1 at let us say i comma j you will mark row of i and column of j as 1 okay so these row of i and column of j are individual arrays okay you will mark them as 1 so uh, when you traverse this matrix again you can you will know that these are the uh, rows that you are going to make it as ones okay so this is the logic it's quite simple now we'll move to geeks for geeks and try to program this okay we are in geeks for geeks and i'll leave the link to this question in the description so you can solve this after watching this video and we are supposed to complete this method called boolean matrix and you are given a two dimensional vector as input and its name is matrix okay so initially i'm going to have a couple of variables called r and c and they are going to hold the uh, row and column count of this matrix okay so we are going to extract the row and column count from this matrix vector so matrix dot size will give you the number of rows and for columns i am going to uh, take the first row of this matrix which would be matrix of 0 and its size would give you the number of columns in this matrix okay it's quite simple uh, the number of rows will be the uh, dimension of the vector and the number of columns will be the dimension of the first uh, vector inside the nested vector okay so in r and c now we are going to create a couple of arrays of these sizes right so int row of r so r would be the size of this uh, uh, array and i am going to 
initialize all the values in this array as 0 and this is how we do that okay and similarly I am going to create a, uh, an array for columns and I am going to initialize it with 0 as well okay now we are done with this now we are going to traverse through this uh, matrix right and I am going to use a nested for loop for that so int i equals 0 i less than r i plus plus and the nested loop would have j and it is going to traverse through the columns right j equals 0 j less than c j plus plus right okay now we are going to see if the current value of matrix is 1 okay matrix of i j is equal to 1 if it is 1 we are going to mark row of i equals 1 and column of j equals 1 okay you are going to mark these two meaning that you are going to make this row and this column as one later okay so you are just making note of it and that is it for this nested for loop now we have made uh, we have made note of the number of rows and the number of columns or uh, the exact row and column that we are going to change to one okay now you can just traverse through that list and convert all those rows and columns into one in the original matrix okay so i am going to traverse through the row list okay the row row array okay so i less than r i plus plus so this loop is going to traverse through the row array and in the row array if you find a one if row of i is equal to a one i am going to have a for loop which is going to convert all the elements in that row to one okay so for int j equals zero and j less than c column okay so why are we doing this because we know that we are going to convert this row into a one row okay all the values in this row is going to be one okay so you are going to iterate through the columns the row is fixed the column is going to be iterated so the condition is that j less than c and not j less than r okay so this is it now inside this you are going to say matrix of i j is going to be one okay i is the column j is the sorry i is the row j is the column so matrix of ij equals 1 fine now we are going to do a very similar thing for the columns as well so i am just going to copy this uh, for loop and i am going to change that so that it works for column okay so instead of going through the row uh, matrix or the row list the array you are going to go through the column array okay so column of i if column of i is equal to j you are going to iterate through the rows okay and instead of i j you are going to have j i because the column is fixed and the row is going to change okay so uh, j is the variable and the row is going to change so that is what we use for the uh, number of rows and i is fixed and i is what we are going to use for columns because the column is going to be fixed and you are going to make all the rows in that column as one so this is the change that you are done okay now uh, this is the end of it now we'll try to run this and see if it works so the code is working fine and all test cases have passed hope you understood this logic if you have any questions put them in the comments and i'll get back to you and uh, see you on tomorrow's episode of 100 days of code bye for now